Assalamu alaikum guys. Okay, so we are back. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to do 6 to 10, the MCQs 6 to 10 for May, June 2009. Oh, sorry, not May, June, October, November 2009. Right, MCQs number 6 to 10. All right. So now the first stage in industrial, okay, MCQ number 6, the first stage of industrial production of nitric acid from ammonia can be represented by this equation. Okay. Ammonia is reacting with oxygen to form nitrogen monoxide and water. Okay, using the final standard enthalpy change of formation data. Okay, whenever formation data is given, we can directly use the formula of uh, products minus reactants, which is uh, what is the value of the standard enthalpy change for this reaction. Okay, whenever formation data is given and we are asked to calculate the enthalpy change of formation, the enthalpy change of any reaction, we just use products minus reactants. Okay, products minus reactants would mean the sum of enthalpy changes of all the products multiplied by their moles minus the sum of enthalpy changes of all the reactants multiplied by their moles. Okay, so now if we take the example, products are nitric, nitric oxide and water, four times the enthalpy change of formation of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide has an enthalpy change of formation of 90.3. So 4 times 90.3 plus 6 times the enthalpy change of formation of water, which is minus 241.8. We put them in brackets and subtract the enthalpy changes of reactants. Oxygen is an element, so its enthalpy change of formation is going to be 0. And what about ammonia? Just multiply the enthalpy change of formation of ammonia by 4. And then the answer that you get is minus 905.2 kilojoules per mole. So C is the correct option. Okay, moving forward to the next question. Okay. In this question, which conversion involves a reduction of chromium? Okay, reduction actually means the decrease in oxidation state, oxidation number. This is the best definition of reduction. Okay, I'm assuming that you guys already know how to calculate the oxidation numbers. So assign oxidation numbers in each uh, of the MCQs to chromium. All right, so in the first answer option, the chromium's oxidation state is not changing. So no redox reaction at all. The second one as well, not changing, not changing. But in the last option, it's changing from plus 6 to plus 3. So therefore, this is the correct option because our oxidation number is decreasing from plus 6 to plus 3. Right, now let's move on to the next MCQ. Okay, MCQ number 8. The equilibrium is given over here. The enthalpy change is given. Contributes to a series of reactions during the photochemical smog. Okay, then which factors would affect the Kp of the above equilibrium? Okay, guys, one important thing to note over here, all equilibrium constants, including Kp and Kc, they are only and only affected by changes in temperature, okay? No other, not concentration nor pressure changes their, change their value. So pressure does not change their value. Temperature does change their value. And what about catalyst? Catalysts also have no effect on the change in uh, on the equilibrium constant. So delta is the correct option. Now D is the correct option. Then moving on to question number nine. Okay, PCL5 forms PCL3 and chlorine. Okay, the extent of dissociation is 13% at 160, but if the temperature is rise to 300, it reaches up to 100%. This means the yield is actually increasing when the temperature is increasing. So this suggests that it is an endothermic reaction because increasing temperature actually favors the reaction in that direction. It favors the production of the yield. Which pair of statements about this formation of PCL3 are correct? Okay, PCL3, what about the shape and the reaction? Okay, we just figured out that it's endothermic. So either A or C. Now let's look at the shape. Okay, from definition, from theory part, we know that PCL3 is actually pyramidal. It contains a bond angle of 107 degrees. Uh, so basically it's pyramidal. So the answer option is going to be A, alpha. It is not trigonal because it has a lone pair. Okay, this is a good question. Question number 10. Okay, four reactions of the types shown are studied in the same temperature. Okay, X plus Y forming Z. Which is the correct reaction pathway diagram for the reaction that will proceed most rapidly and has the highest yield? Okay, guys, one thing to note over here is that most rapidly, any reaction would, uh, would proceed most rapidly or more rapidly if its activation energy is low. Activation energy is by definition the minimum energy needed to, for a reaction to occur. So how to calculate the and uh, how to identify the activation energy? Okay, by the way, activation energy is that energy that goes on from the reactant level all the way to the top of the graph. So this arrow actually represents your activation energy, Ea. Okay, 
this is a quite a large arrow and similarly in this case it's again a very large arrow if we look at option b and c the arrows are relatively smaller so it's uh, c and d the array arrows are relatively smaller so a cannot be the answer b cannot be the answer now c and d okay then it asks us which one will have a high the highest yield okay guys one thing to note over here is that yield means the product the quantity of product and a product will be in higher concentration only if it is stable and one rule of thumb is that the product at lower energy level is more stable is always more stable lower energy level is more stable So again, C and D will have a more stable product as compared to A and B. So again, A and B cannot be the answer options. Now there comes a tie between C and D. Which one will be the better answer option? Okay, since their products are at the same energy levels, their products are gonna have the same stability. If you put a place a ruler over here, they are actually at the same energy level as shown in their diagram. Okay, but which one of them will be more rapid? The activation energy arrow in option C is even shorter, even smaller as compared to the activation energy arrow in option D. So therefore, C is the correct option because activation energy is smaller as compared to the activation energy of D. Therefore, this will proceed more rapidly and at the same time will have a very stable product, a more stable product as compared to A and B. It will have this product stability will be the same as D, but the reaction rate will be even faster. Okay, so that's it for this lecture as well. The MCQs number 11 to 15 will be uh, done in the next lecture. The link to that has been given in the description. So please do check that out. Thank you so much.